Alright, where are we headed? I think now. We're gonna go to the underground? Yeah, I think we go to Shifra. From Fort Height West. Fort Height yep. West or Third Church of America doesn't really matter. Mm hmm. What? Why am I seeing this on the map? Where... Third Church of America is where we went to find Garank originally, and then Fort Height West is directly south of it. It's on the eastern part of Limgrave. Near there the woods. Thank you. Stopped by the minor erg tree and grabbed the tear there. Was there a tier by the minor retreat that we didn't grab before? Uh, one of the crystal knots. I thought we already had it. Wow. I just got ground slam. Yeah, what the hell? I think, oh, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't the grab beetle I didn't... may have rolled off a cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I, I killed I killed the beetle. Oh, okay. That's... Um... I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, I didn't pick up that tier previously either, so that's nice to have. Where are you? Wait, wait, where is it at? We're going to Shifra. Um, if you can see you... where Ka and I are on the map, or I'm not sure if Ka's still Okay, yes. yeah, come to you guys. There. Oh, you guys are showing up on my map now, which is really nice. Do we have universal... Can you guys see the markers on my screen? Markers are still no. in the chair. No. no. Uh, where are you Bummer. guys on the map? Shifra near in between the Third Church of America and Fort Height West. By Blythe's house. We're, by, we're just right by the minor ur tree, the base of the, like literally standing on the bottom of the brown part of the tree on the map. Because people don't show up on maps yet. They do. When yeah, they you're do. In round table. When you're in round table, yes, they do not. Oh, when you're in round oh, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because oh. it's a non combat zone. Interesting. Or at the very least, it's a different map entirely. That'd be I funny. Think. They're just using a PvP map. I found it interesting that uh, Moog's room is already a non-combat zone, even though there's nobody there. Yeah. It's it's funny. In response to my video about pausing, I had like a couple of people say, like, it'd be more important to me if I could access the map at any time in Elden Ring. And I'm like, no argument there. Like, Yeah. <laughs> that, that'd be higher in my yeah. priority list, too. Fuck. <laughs> there's so many parts yeah. you, want to look, you want to look at the map, but they won't let you because yeah. they tied being able to teleport to the act of even opening your map. Yeah. Which is funny because there are times where it contextually doesn't let you warp. So it's just like, oh, mid combat, they could let you open the map and just cross out all the sites of grace. Yeah. You know? yeah. But or you, uh, well, yeah, they don't have to show the sites of grace either. Like just showing you the map is enough. Like there's no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's helpful. Yeah. Side note, I I just remembered something. <laughs> I think that we can get another golden seed if anyone is if if we're at the point where yes. we, we need another one. Uh, we I just want one. we just need to kill the ulcerated root in the stranded graveyard that we never fought. Yep. Yeah. So we can do yeah, that we go, we, if I mean, we want go, to. Let's go do that. We, let's do that first. Right, yeah, let's go kick, kick its ass. Kick that thing's fucking ass. Because it will die it. very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. We still haven't upgraded our weapons a lot, but we leveled up a lot, and that is enough to make a difference. So yeah, for sure. Where is it at? Stranded uh, graveyard. This is stranded graveyard. So very beginning of the game. If you can find that, <laughs> I don't know how helpful of a tip that is, but <laughs> very big damage this time. Yeah, and the chariot's dead, so we can just walk down. There are still dudes though, but they're just dudes. They're just dudes. Oh, they're right, just we, just we innocent men. Route. We fought the route and we were oh, like, I, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest this. at this site though. So sorry if you're already fighting guys. It's good to rest here first in case we die. Yep. Good idea. Wish I did that. Uh, oh well. Oh well. 
Wait, if we teleport, Rawr. it doesn't count as us resting? No. No. I totally forgot about that. That's fine. I'll one hit God. hit. I'll, I'll one shot him. I'm not worried about the it. Hell dungeon from the beginning. The Back, first part baby. of the playthrough where I was like, you know what? I'm going to edit this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fight the knight up here real quick. Cause I did I ever grab the dragon? I think last anything? session was six hours long and I edited down to four. Yeah, at least two of us grabbed them because I have two. Oh, it's so them. far away. It's so far away. I don't need to go up there. It's fine. I forgot there was an extra turn. I think we're gonna shred this dude. I'm not. I'm not scared. We are a level one million, and last time we were level three. Bit of a difference. Level one oh three. Very close to one million though, Keith. Keith is yeah. still learning how to count, so <laughs> we have to be really encouraging. No, he's just factoring in the soft cap. Uh, level, one, one, yeah, one, level one million is yeah. not that level different than level 100. Apparently. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. I measure things in hamburgers. Mm. Burger meets a euphemism. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. Now well, we was all for this, this economy guy. at first. And the reason it's why I wanted... extremely unreliable way of measuring things. Oh, there's a stake of America, so it doesn't really matter if we die. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, cool. Duh. All right, there he is. Oh, I forgot to dodge. I just walked up to him. Oops. I should see whether I actually... Whether I like any of the uh, flask options yet. I know exactly what flask options I'm going to use once we get to the DLC. I'm very excited about the deflect tier. Hell yeah. Have you played around with that at all? Have you gotten it? I, I haven't much at all, but I've watched other people do it. And it's, it's, it looks absolutely fucking wild. It's so it's fucking the cool. perfect block one. Yeah, the Sekiro tier. Huh? There's a tier that allows you to deflect. Oh yeah, Andrew, like, you're going to want Sekiro. that. There's an Andrew that, there's a talisman that turns into Sekiro. It's not talisman. What? It's a drink. It's a flask. Or the flask. I mean, yeah. yeah it's here. It uh, allows you to perfect guard without losing stamina or uh, taking damage, and you can, uh, yeah, you just like tap L1 to parry an enemy, and then immediately guard counter them, and you get the enhanced guard Ooh. counter. That's sick. So. Can you use it on the final boss? Yes, absolutely. You can use it on anything, any hits. Bro, I'm beating this game in one fucking go. Let's go, easy. <laughs> Oh, right. and then the fool. We did back it. Where we were. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna know. go back to Shifra. Oh yeah. So we didn't we did. need to warp the entrance, but it's okay. Uh oh. Thankfully, Shifra oh. is relatively straightforward and doesn't really have any like tricks to it. You just kind of do it. Yeah. I'm still loading. Stop doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, you, no, you don't want him to stop. Yeah, lo loading in public, rude. I think loading stopped is what I'm doing right now because I have not progressed. So all of my NPCs yeah, are right, gone. So I down. think, I think it's. Oh, they're with <laughs> me. We're hanging out. Yeah. Together. But your besties. If I have to banish you all, I can. And then I can just summon you down to where I am. Toaster will turn this horse around. I will turn this horse right <laughs> around. Uh, sure. Let's there will, see. in fact, be horsing around. All right. I no. killed you all. Now no. uh, my I'm world is open now. again. I loaded. Wow. You loaded. Oh, great. I'm really loving my dagger build right now. Like, I actually really love dual misericords. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> It's so dumb, but it's very cool. If we get any great knives, maybe uh, it might be useful to grab for me to take those if I'm not going to do a crit build later. But uh, I, I'm thinking about maybe once we get to the DLC, playing around with some of the other weapons. I, I It would be enjoyable to do that. Yeah, there's multiple things in the DLC I have my eye on. Yeah, oh, what are, what are you thinking of? What are you thinking of? I definitely want to try the Deadly Poison Vials. Oh, Perfume. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be good, but I want to try them. 
Mm-hmm. They just nerfed vials. They nerfed or one of the got vials. Rid of the, or got rid of the bug that made them good or whatever. Yes, they, they did get they rid of them. they were applying like full damage if you're d- using two different ones. Yes. Or yep, they were applying full damage, and then there was a gap in the scaling that broke them. It was t- technically part of the same bug that uh, made the Smith script weapons really weird and non-functional. Um, but I experimented with the Smith script weapons last night on my on my co-op file that I used to just like help people and also invade and grief people. And uh, I don't think the Smith script weapons, I don't, th- I can't, you throwing, the throwing weapons are not good, I don't think. Nope. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think they're usable. Even, even using dexterity scaling, like keen on the, the throwing knives, which get S scaling, I had them at plus 25, 80 dex, and they do no damage at all, and they do no poise, so it's like, it's so hard to use them. I just like having them as like a backup weapon to hit ranged things when I need to. Yeah. Definitely. Because there is a limit on how many uh, ones you can hold. I think the Cirque might be good. I think it I might be like functional because it. I think it causes bleed, maybe? Um, yes. I, I don't remember exactly, but the, the Cirque is, is very, very possibly good. And it has good range uh, when thrown, which the knives don't have. Um, so I could definitely see the Cirques being good, but... The spear seems kind of useless. The hammer possibly possibly good, if you kit it out correctly. The hammer is just I love, decent. I love this as colored gradient so much. Yeah. Yes, that's why I was really happy to come here. I just. just <laughs> <laughs> Quote Marge Simpson. I just think it's neat. I just think it's I just neat. I think it's neat. I wish I could do that voice. It's a fun voice. <laughs> just eat your cigarettes and you'll get there one day. I, I can do so. I can do the cigarette voice. I just can't do the high pitched cigarette voice. I just think that's me. I was I listening to a Japanese. Uh, I saw like a clip of a Japanese dub of Simpsons on Twitter, and wh- whoever was doing the voice acting for Krusty he was absolutely crushing it. it like <laughs> one voice, because it's like really hard ass to like have someone in a foreign language sound like. Wait, yeah, you know. I think I think I know who does it. I think it's the yeah. voice of the. Of the, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, but he's just, he, like, it still sounds like Krusty, like, in a way that's, like, more so than any other character. I'm, I was pretty impressed by that. I think it's, like, kind of cursed when you get a voice match, like, that good. Like, it, it, not in a mm-hmm. bad way, but in a, like, my brain can't process this yeah. way. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. listening to Kingdom Hearts in Japanese is crazy because it's, like, it does sound like Goofy and Donald, but they are speaking another language. And I can't. My brain is Donald not okay is with this. Weird. Yeah. I hate Japanese Donald. I'm like, w- w- wait, <laughs> no, that, that sounds that sounds like Donald Duck, but he's speaking yeah, Japanese. Yeah. I truly <laughs> cannot make out a single word of what he says in Japanese. Oh, that's I, they, I I saw the tra- like I saw someone was trying to translate Donald Duck, and they said they just give up. Sometimes they just put question marks when they don't know. <laughs> What the fuck it's saying? <laughs> like, they just put, like, katakana on the screen. They're like, here you go, kids. <laughs> Some of it, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? That's great. It's very... What a dumb character. But, yeah, Goofy Goofy does sound pretty good, too. Gorsh. So I think that sounds... I feel like Goofy would be pretty easy to emulate. Yeah... I'd say it's like <laughs> I'd say no? it's pretty hard so? to make him intelligible in Japanese. That's rough. That's that's genuinely tough. That was such a pained hmm. noise. It, it's more like I I speak fluent Japanese. I've been speaking Japanese since I was like ten years old, and I Goofy is as hard as Donald to understand for me. Like he is he is truly <laughs> difficult to parse. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm starting to see. I'm like doing it in my head. And like, yeah, it is actually kind of hard to keep up the g sound because yeah. it's really hard to do in Japanese. Like, like he speaks really slowly. Go high, good, good time. Yeah, like, how the fuck do you do that? <laughs> he he speaks very nasally and like with his voice is so far back in his throat that like it's just it's so hard to make out what the fuck he's saying. Yeah. Uh, we can go uh. up around here and then climb. 
Yeah, climb these steps. Climb on these steps. And there's vermin around here as well, just as a heads up, golden wow. centipedes. Rare so crafting calling. item. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, which is kind of neat, kind of interesting. What does it mean? What does it mean? What? Is that a thing? Like, mm -hmm. is, there, is there something deeper with the caterpillars? Uh, not caterpillars, centipedes. The golden or centipedes, centipedes are, are signs of strange, were... strange vermin. Yeah. They were all up in uh, Sekiro. Yes. Centipedes are, and they're in Bloodborne. Uh, so, oh. yeah. And then we'll jump down. Does Mizaki hate centipedes? Uh, centipedes are a sign of filth in, uh, in like, Japanese folklore. In pure. Can't I get this? And we get oracle bubbles, I think, from this. They are corrupted parasites. Milo, no, do not climb behind my TV. Milo, unplug his do computer. It. Please do it don't again. do that. Yay, we got oracle bubbles. Oh, oh, yeah, unplugging. I forgot. Yeah, because it was uh, a town of Scarab. Nice. I'm trying to remember what other. Uh, what's this item over here? So it's a rune item, I think. Oh, no, throwing daggers. Mm -hmm. It's so Oracle Bubbles says, Sorcery of the clay men who served as priests in the ancient dynasty. It produces small magical bubbles, drift towards foes. The clay men search for lost oracles within their bubbles. So the clay men, these goopy guys that we fight with spears and stuff, uh, they're weird. Okay. We don't we don't know what the ancient dynasty is. I have theories now after the DLC. I, I think that there is actually a long oh. tradition of turning people into clay. Um Rude. Yes. It's a, what better to craft a world out of? What better thing to craft a world out of than clay made from the flesh of the very divine people? Uh, so I, I don't know. I have no idea 100% what they mean. But uh, yes, the clay men are probably the oldest group of like human as we would know it civilization in the context of the game. Uh, and there's a lot we can learn about them because they're, they're very unique. Ugh. Delay timing on these guys. What you doing? Trying to uh, parry. I'm trying to have fun. Come on. Come on. Peter's just gonna keep interrupting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I missed. Alright. We will go over here now. But I want I wanted to well, kill him so that I would get I'll Estes try, back. I'll try I'll try to stay on horseback for as long as possible, fighting as shittily as possible. Because I don't want to like surrender to a normal fight. <laughs> Bemi says, I wish there were more bubble spells. Uh they're so pretty. Yeah, they're cool. I do like them. I forgot I had the carry and regal staff. I should probably be casting more magic. Oopsie. So here we have their first indication. If you look at if you look at this here, right here, these look like the mm -hmm. Nox people that we fought in Celia. So there's a connection between Celia and the Eternal Cities that is very cleanly established here, specifically the Nox themselves. You're not allowed to have a horse right here. No oh, did it actually take it away from you in, in that yeah, one room? You can't you oh, can't enter that one you can't enter that Just, room with a horse. They counted it as an interior. That's really funny. Yeah. I don't remember what Just to is spite you. down here. Yeah, no, most of this game is designed to spite me specifically. Miyazaki's actually, long standing feud. Yeah, if you look at the people subscribed <laughs> to my channel, actually, Miyazaki's in there. It's a bit of a hate. Watch. That's why he made this game based on Dark Souls 2. Crap. Like eggs. And they wouldn't let you date him. So I love the idea that he just like my solo playthrough too. But like, if you go back to all the complaints people had about Dark Souls Two, now after the popularity of Elden Ring, all of it's incomprehensible. None of it's even recognizable as flaws. You're like, what the fuck are they talking about? All I, of you love these exact things now. I I think it's very funny because a lot of the things that people complain about in Elden Ring, they're like, it's a is. Uh, I feel like this has happened for every Souls game. It's like the Zelda cycle as it applies to Souls is like. Actually, yeah. the last game is perfect now, and th all of the complaints we had about <laughs> it originally are uh, good, actually, and the new game that does all the same things is bad. When people talk about, like, boss design, and they're like, oh, like, FromSoft is washed, Elden Ring is bad bosses, it's crazy because 
being at Dark Souls 3 at launch was full of people saying Dark Souls 3 was like just a rehash and reused assets and bad bosses. They go way too hard. Pontiff Sullivan is impossible. And it's just like, <laughs> bruh, like nowadays you're saying that Dark Souls 3 was always the best and like was the perfect video game. And like I, I was there, but like all these people were saying the same thing back then too. When Elden Ring 2 comes out, you're going to be saying Elden Ring was the best game ever. Like, just chill out. Dark Souls... Uh, Pontiff Sullivan was funny because I didn't know its reputation. Mm -hmm. I was just playing the game for the first time, being a bit slow, like always, because everyone else just binges the game in two days when they're not doing a Let's Play. And uh, so I finally got to Pontiff Sullivan with no context and having never heard, heard of him before. And just, like, beat him really easily and quickly. Yep. And then it wasn't until like a week later when the video came out where everyone was like, what the fuck? Overleveled, all these other things. I'm like, what do you mean overleveled? I just haven't died. I've never grinded a single time. How can I be yeah. overleveled? I literally am just beating the levels. I never, I never like gain, I never farm souls. I remember when Dark Souls 2 came out and people complained that Dark Lurker was an impossible boss. <laughs> so like, that's, oh, that's, that's actually that's, right. that's yeah. incomprehensible. That fight's really easy. That fight is really good. That's a really good fight. Uh, yeah, it's off yeah. the side is one of the cleanest fights that they've made because it's so it's like it's varied and fun and has interesting stuff going on, but it's also yeah. like extremely telegraphed in the end clean. It's it's actually unfair that he splits into two and FromSoft can't make a one v one fight anymore. You're meant to summon for it. This is impossible. That's baffling. People say the same shit felt, every oh. single game. I only felt that way about a two v about a multiple enemy fight in in a Dark Souls two when I got hit New Game Plus or New Game Plus two I think, where they then hit two pursuers at the same time in the throne room. I'm like, I don't like this one. No, <laughs> I'm not happy right now. <laughs> I was not psyched about two pursuers <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> That's a really mean room that they just surprise. I think it might be New Game Plus 2 or some nonsense like that, where you're like, it's so far in, you're like, what do you mean they're still adding things? What the fuck ah, is the this fight? Fucking... I don't know, these aren't the racist sheep. Never mind. I think it would be know, fun. Dark Lurker was never, it was never hard. Yeah. It's baffling. Yeah, people are people are crazy. My, my point with that isn't even, like, actually those games are good, or, like, the, bo the boss fights oh, aren't bullshit, anyway. or, like, whatever anyone wants to say is fine. It's just always very interesting to me to see people complain and they're like, Eld Elden Ring is so different than FromSoft's other games. They never showed these design principles before. And it's like, well, actually, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I, the same complaints that you are saying, claiming in, uh, exist in Elden Ring actually are, exist in the game that you say is perfectly designed. So, like, maybe, maybe the games are more alike just, than I, you think. I can't, I can't take seriously anyone whose favorite Souls game is Dark Souls 1. Yeah. I I can see it's, that it's like it's my, fifty it's probably, percent bad content. Oh, it's probably my favorite Souls game. Uh, I know. I, for, I, I forgive it <laughs> for, I, for a variety damn. of reasons. Yeah, I I forgive its loose ends just for like going yeah. balls yeah. to the wall on its insane. Like you've systems. like you've obviously like, made uh, like you've made literally a channel about it being your favorite uh, game continuously. Yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, like specifically the kind of person that talks it about it being like the peak of the franchise and like all forms of like quality, basically. Oh no, no, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't even, yeah, yeah. I'm just it like, it doesn't clear on any category <laughs> compared it, to the rest of the series. It, well, it clears on crazy subsystems. That's like the it, one thing. Yeah, it really has going it it's a hacked it's together like, kind of rushed game that had Keith. Just the game is so efficient, ideas. the bosses kill themselves. It, it's full of wild ideas that they did not have time to finish making in a lot of cases. So there's just yeah. kind of like weird vestigial elements and the carbuncle aid itself and so on. Horn bow. Those, mechanic, those mechanics where even when you in, in, interact with them correctly and know in advance they exist, you still can't tell if they're happening half the time. Oh, nice. So Absolutely the fascinating nightmare of a game. I, I like Dark Souls 1 a lot. It took me a very long time to come around to it. Like, one of... I, I've talked about it before, but, like... You can't fit between these pillars. <laughs> I, I remember very distinctly when Dark Souls 1 came out. And me and, like, all of, like, my Demon Souls diehards played Dark Souls 1. And it was... Like, the, people forget that when Dark Souls 1 came out, like, the reception to it was not, this is the best game ever. Like, by and large, the reception to it was, 
what is this game? This is janky and like it doesn't work and it's broken and like what the fuck is going on with this video game? And like that was also seeded by a lot of people who played Demon Souls and really love Demon Souls. And it, it yeah, took yeah, there, there, there was a period of adjustment for Dark Souls One for sure. Yeah, Demon Souls. And yeah. like a lot of people for a long time, you know, for I would say until Prepare to Die Edition came out on PC and got like more of a critical reappraisal, a lot of people were like, it's a worse version of Demon Souls. Wow. He's designed to look at all your emotes. Are we uh, waiting to talk to a uh, group chat? I'm wa I'm Blythe? walking over here right uh, now. I was picking go. up items. Husband? Let's talk to Blythe. He's oh. blushing. Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody Nocron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. All right. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? So I just noticed something interesting about Blythe's model. If you look at his cloak, he has like a pin, and it looks a lot like the pin, the weird crest that's on Garank and Malaketh's right hand. Might be an early hint. Just to the shadow hounds. They're shadows. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I do have a funny comment about the spirit springs down here. Uh, <laughs> Is this I'm the broken one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the it's the funny ones. Uh, all of the underground ones are a bit jank. Um, what happened with these is that the all spirit springs have a much wider safe landing zone, right? Like the cone that actually makes you jump higher is like that smaller, maybe like three meter wide section in the middle that you can see like more clearly, mm -hmm. but there's a much wider safe landing zone. However, the underground ones didn't have that originally. If you didn't land perfectly in the same spot that where you jumped higher, you would die. <laughs> um, so it used to be one to one for some reason. However, they patched the, to fix it to be safer to land on, but they didn't fix them correctly. They just made it so that instead of having like a wider safe landing area, they made a wider jumping area as well. <laughs> so you, you can jump from further away from the center of it than you're supposed to, and your horse will torrent will freak the fuck out if you like I don't jump remember. from the edge of this cliff here and hug uh, the building basically. So oh, here fun. we go. It's over here. <laughs> uh, that's wacky. Y yeah, I'll show you what it looks like actually the next time you're back down here. Uh, it's very funny. I am walking over to the front. Um, I, was, I was trying to use a spirit spring in the DLC to get somewhere I shouldn't and just kill boxed me. Oh, no. Aww. It looked like you could do that because you're supposed to take one up. But what if I take it down? No. Oh, no, you yeah. have to jump. <laughs> Oops, there goes 130,000 right. souls. Got to get back over there. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, do, we, do we go down down there or? I don't remember what this is. Yeah, because you want to kill, you want to get those dead guys junk. You got arrows. Dead guy junk. Dead guy junk. With with regards to to Dark Souls One, like obviously at this point, like I think it's a, an incredible video game, and I, I think it is very well designed, and like I think for the most part, even with its flaws, it's like one of the best games ever made from a design standpoint. Like I I will stand by this i very firmly would play through lost isolith over maybe 90 percent of video games <laughs> like i would accept that 100 percent uh because i yeah, think does it have a pause button no it doesn't have a pause button uh <laughs> but uh it, it it does not no uh but i think in general like i think it is from soft's like and i, I don't mean this in a malicious way I think it in this part is part of what makes it really oh, you, interesting. You just fake died on my screen. Uh, I think that Dark Souls is FromSoft's like sloppiest modern release. Like, just it's yeah. a game held together by duct tape, and that's fine. That's yep. part of what makes it really cool and interesting. But like to deny that is to deny the the actual shape of Dark Souls One, which is like. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Very yeah. All all of its big fans who were also like poke into the game just like will all 
are in a huge agreement with that. You know, they'll all yeah. tell you like, oh my god, this game yeah. is like <laughs> barely held together. But, but then the number of people that bash other Souls games under the pretense of basically just comparing it to like the world design of the first four hours of Dark Souls One, as if all of Dark Souls One was even like that, is so frustrating. You're like, okay, Have but you so you're, I'm always like, Have you played Dark Souls One? So uh, ch check ch next time you're back down here. I'm uh, I'm watching you. I'm looking at you. I like. Oh, you're looking at me. Okay, so check out this glitchy shit. Uh, so oh, I go uh, so now I'm gonna float. I'm gonna float here against the wall. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I'm just uh -huh. floating, stuck in jumping. Yeah. That's nuts. That sweet, but it's a sweet shortcut to this item <laughs> if you want to like not do the whole jump around thing. Oh, can, cause can, cause it holds you in the air. Way. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, it didn't land me there correctly. Now I'm stuck <laughs> in a very precarious spot. Fuck. Try to oh, yeah, jump I'm, I'm backwards, dead. maybe. Oh uh, no, I'm totally dead. Because um, <laughs> I'm lower than the cliff. Yeah. Oh, you're lower than the that. cliff? It looks like you're above it on my screen. Interesting. That is so funny. That's uh, a shame. Yep. <laughs> You'll have to go That's get good. your souls back. How many souls do I have? To? Oh, 21,000. Who gives a shit? Yeah, who gives a shit? Exactly. Oh, I made it. I made it. Okay, cool. It was very nice. Close I think I'm dead. It, but... No, I'm not. Cool. Uh, but I yeah. When, when Blythe said he was going to eat people. So Blythe does want us to go talk to Celevis, but before we do that, let's kind of just do the rest of the Shifra area so that when we are ready to move on, we can just move on. Um, I think that's fair to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a few different little things that we're going to want to do. I'm going <laughs> to aggro. What the hell's going on with this guy's horse? Do you see this shit? Yeah, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Because instead I'm seeing this other one freaking out. Uh, cool. I am over, like, what the fuck? towards yeah, for... the sconces. <laughs> me oh. Me, me and Andrew oh. are looking at you near the cliff, just Beyblading in place on horseback. Just... <laughs> That's terrifying. I am, like... Yeah, yeah, a car disappeared for me, so... That right, yeah, not look, yeah, look at the compass, and he's the, he's the more saturated gold Keith one. and Andrew are floating through the air, walking towards me, and then I see a health bar floating on the ground where they are, so... Uh, let us, let's all just light the sconces. There isn't too much to talk about in this area from like a lore or storytelling perspective that is like easy to communicate. But one of the, I guess the best way to describe this is that like Nokron is a place where there is a false night sky underground. It is home to an ancient civilization, one that we can relatively easily associate with uh, the ancestral followers now, um, possibly from the past. We don't really know how long they've been here. Um, but also, of course, the 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 Nox people uh, who somehow gained the ire of the greater will at some point and were banished underground and had their night sky taken away from them. Uh, there is a lot to take from that, but the architecture here uh, is very consistent. Uh, it is consistently the oldest known location of like human life in this setting. Um, so we don't, I mean, we, we have indication that humans lived above ground possibly oh, before God, this, yeah. but it is worth calling out that like, as far as where all of like ancient civilization goes uh, in the base game, these places are about the oldest that we can track back. So kind of neat. I forget and if the uh, NPC sells splits. anything special. Um, um, sleep stuff, I think maybe, or magic stuff. I'm, I can't remember. I'll go investigate. Oh, Fire. there's a lot of them. Is this the one that teaches that teaches you about Mikola's or Santorina? Uh, I don't think he has anything to say. I think he's just like, oh, hi, how'd you find me? But I think he sells a, some stuff. I'm in a weird ledge. Get him. 12,000 yeah. damage crit. God, Jeez. I love the Misericord. Hell yeah. Oh no. Surprise dialogue prompt. Yeah. There we go. 12,000 damage crit. Gotta love it. Okay. Oh yeah, there's like a Miranda flower down here. I forgot about this guy. Smithing stone uh, force. Really I, need to, me. I need to change my kit to just be only po like posture breaking, nothing else. Posture breaking. Yeah, that could be useful. Um, 
trying to think like yeah, I mean, what I, I the try best... to do a lot, a lot of charged attacks in combat, so that would synergize with how I've been playing pretty well. Yeah, posture posture break is fun to build for. Um, I'm trying to think like what are the good ways to do it, most efficient ways to do it, because there are certain weapon types that are slightly better at it than others. It would synergize really well if you have a good two-handed weapon that can posture break. Um, light great swords are really, really fucking good at it. Qual quality light great swords from the DLC, really excellent. Um, specifically, the quality Milady is a really amazing poise break weapon. Um, <laughs> uh, so this guy sells three bars of soap, mm -hmm. he sells three stone sword keys, a larval tier. That's nice to have. Larval tier is nice to have, yeah. Um, Oh, he oh. says the cookbook for making oil pots and rope oil pots. Oh, it was oil pots. That's what it was. I knew he sold a and, pot thing. And some form of cured meat. Okay. I knew he sold pot. <laughs> the pot seller. The dare lion warned me about you. <laughs> All right. I'm a customer. There are some states of grace where I just like never think about their name, so I'm like below the well. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that's right before the, the giant elevator. Yes, it's right below the which well. Which takes us to the, which takes us to the arena. Uh, where does that one take us? I think it does take us to the arena to do the yeah. The jar stuff, what we yeah. did in session zero. Yeah, I, put, I, did, I did the stone sword keys. Yeah, for the elevator. In, in Caleb, right? Yeah. All right. Now that we I did the stone that. sword keys for the elevator, I lit the next uh, grace, and I've lit like four sconces. Cool, helpful. Uh, there's a lot of like interesting stuff here in this old civilization that ties them to the crucible. Um, they have here, obviously, the ancestral followers uh, worship horns. They try to obtain them. Uh, the ancestral follower priestesses wear like necklaces that are begat with like weird omen horns. You find a lot of uh, budding horns here as well, uh, which is a crafting item. Uh, so after the DLC, obviously, which heavily features horned people, there is oh. something interesting going on there. But we have to wait for smarter so people than me to put all of the cultural stuff together. If someone worships horns, would you say they have a horn addiction? I would say they're, yeah, they have a horn addiction, exactly. Straight to horny jail. There Did we go. Relight all the thingies? I can't tell. Uh. I'm near the bridge, let me check. No, there's still one unlit. Two oh. unlit. Get looking for it then. Why are you slacking? Total, gonna, oh, it's, oh, is there a thing yeah. that shows the progress? Yeah, I mean, if you go yeah. back to the bridge, the braziers light up on my work. Yes. Oh. Oh. Relax, man. What the? What, how many attacks in a row? Yeah. No. This is Elden Ring. No, I, that, I I feel like oh. his AI was acting up there. That was a little strange. Oh, so many arrows. Yeah, see, so just relax horns. Oh, just little openings like that. He's bricked guy. up. No rat, chill. Jeez. Yeah. Don't forget to get the golden seed. Oh no, I'm getting uh... rat attack. No. There we go. <gasps> oh, I had to work for that parry. Uh, I was reading about uh, spirit ashes and which ones are useful. Um, skeleton militia is actually really useful for the DLC uh, because there is a interesting setup using, I think, a talisman that buffs you when your companions die or maybe a physic. So that could be something to play around with. Um, and then there's also uh, rats are apparently really excellent because they stagger people really easily. Oh, nice. Can confirm. Is that, I've been staggered by rats. Is that physic good for us or just for summons? For us. So there's one that, no. that buffs us when our summons die. And the skeletons, it will proc when the skeletons collapse. But they, just like skeletons in the rest of the game, need to be hit twice to die. And NPCs will oh. de-aggro from them when they collapse. So 
you can do some goofy shit curse. like that and have like a permanently going buff for yourself. I ne I never even thought about the prospect of them just like being confused by the skeletons dying. That's awesome. Yeah, it's That's awesome. Very funny. I just fucking matrix dodged a sniper arrow. That was crazy. There's so many graces in this area. Well, it's effectively just a giant plane you can cross in 30 seconds. Oh! Do not die to rats. Drink your juice. Rat juice? What? Juice it up, nerd. Oh. Why? I want you to put trees here. The power stance dagger move set is just so fucking sick. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Come on, hit me. No, not the right hit to do on me. <laughs> no! What a fool oh, I have been. A, we missed a super early one. You threw him and hit the other one? Ah, oh, damn it. I've lit I've like, like five of them now. All right. I would have thought. There are a lot of gateways in here. Yes. I'm traveling. I'm teleporting so I get my souls easy. Hiccup. Oh, don't die. No. Oh, there's the last one right where I died. I see the last sconce, but I have to respawn to get it. Son of a bitch. That was not nice, the final Thank you. That was a jank. Just get some heals back. That, that didn't seem like it was there even long go. enough to kill. Damn. Those lightning wardens just combo me to death instantly. Yeah, they're very scary. Yeah, overall, we, we missed some of the earliest sconces. Okay. I feel like you can reliably circle strafe around the lightning balls in single player, but there's a little bit of a delay in multiplayer. Very possible. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah you can normally just run sideways. I did the thingy. Okay, here's where the golden oh, oh, seed is. That took away my ability to block. God damn it, those text prompts are so <laughs> fucking annoying. What did you do, Keith? I finished all of the sconces. Oh, oh, you finished the sconces. Gotcha, okay. He did the objective. I thought you meant yeah. you like went and touched the ancestor spirit, and I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, no. no. I just, I was, I think I was the only one doing them, unless they're not synced or something. I got like six. Yeah, there's, there's. No, six I did a couple. Of them, I did so two of them weird. though. Yeah, because I did the first two. I'm wondering if they're just not synced. Uh, uh, does that mean I, they're I, synced? I've seen the other ones lit for me. Or yeah. Just, or there's just a lot of them. <laughs> There are. I think yeah, there's, there's a lot of them. Should be six. Yeah, I think. Definitely more than six because I did that many. Uh, uh, mm. did you do? All right. I think it was synced you... and not synced. I think that's the most. <laughs> yeah, I see. I that, see. That's, it's that's lit yeah, up yeah. on mine. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I've seen a few lit up by other people that I didn't touch. So, but uh, but also if you did light, light up six, then, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did, not I did like six, and you're both claiming to have done like two each or something, and that yeah, I work. I lit the first two. <laughs> that math doesn't number. Unless we just lit them at the same time, but I I walked up to to do them earlier. Let's see, dwelling arrow. I don't know what else to do really. Uh, we can. We want to go through the sending some of the sending gates in here to move to like the higher levels or whatever. Uh, all it does here is take you just, like, around this area, doesn't it? I thought it was... I, I don't think there's anything actually advantageous. It just teleports you around the plane, doesn't it? Well, there's one that gets you up to uh, that, like, one boss fight or whatever. Um, or, like, mini boss or whatever his name is. The, the dragony, the armored dude the guy. Cru crucible thingy. Knight? No, not the Crucible Knight. Like, the... What the fuck oh, the Dragonkin dragon soldier. Dragonkin guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can do think, that one. I think to get to that one, we have to go to the sending gate that's kind of like in the very middle on top of like a... Yeah, like on top of a column. Of I'm on it right now. Yeah. I will okay, cool. just I interact will. with it in a second. 
I think we'll go to there. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's the one, I think. Let me give it a try. Let's see if it sends all of us. I don't think it normally does that. Just want to make sure. There's all these guys here. Nope, this one does not send us. Shit. This just sends us to... Where does it? Hold on. No, this one might. Is there like water nearby and stuff? Yeah, it doesn't teleport us to where I thought it teleported us, but it does teleport us to... Yes. Yeah, Dragon King. Got yeah, 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 okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Never so mind. Go, I was wrong. Gotta run up this column past these dudes. So the statues here of the men holding the tablets that you can also see in the old palace ruins, this is a place, th th this guy is referred to in the community as Elden John because no one knows what his name <laughs> is, but he's really old and very clearly important to these old cultures. Um, so people just call him Elden John. Uh, and he's very supportive of prostitutes. It's just very oh, funny. It's just very funny. Uh but there is some interesting connection between him, the ancestral followers, uh, sort of like old death rite processes, this idea of like the twin birds and of like horned death and rot very specifically. Um, because obviously the ancestral followers, especially in 1.0, this, like this is like a piece of lore that people are somewhat aware of. Uh, the ancestral followers had a rot uh, ver variant that used to exist in the lake of rot in the 1.0 version that are now abandoned there's only one of them there rather than a whole group of them they're replaced with kindred of rot which is weird uh, there's a whole lot of stuff about that faction that is hard to parse now because of the dlc but um but yeah uh they seemingly this old civilization might have either encountered or been involved with the blue swordsman uh the one who sealed the god of rot as well um and millennia's master Golden Rune 7. Neat. This little waterfall area. I think I forgot to come here a while ago. Man, doing the DLC without, like, my super optimized talismans is going to be fucking hard. <laughs> that was, like, one of the saving graces of the file I used is that I used my 100% my file to play the DLC. Um... I used a, a save editor to to basically port my PS5 save over, and nice. uh, having access to talismans is very fucking helpful. Wait, now, can we else get up here, up here? Can I? I see Grandpa. I would like I to see, get oh, yeah, over I here. Everyone. I would like to get over oh, here. Oh, there's all the stuff down here. Yeah. Let's see. But they're, but they're, they're smithing everyone's, trees. Everyone's always talking about stuff over somewhere. <sighs> but I want smithing threes in me. No, I'm not oh. sure there's a seat for that. Okay. This guy, these guys are not super scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I think they're not, they're not body safe smithing stones. Exactly. They're too porous. <laughs> Oh god, so big. It's a novelty item not intended for internal use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I have I have dragon grease that I should probably use. I wonder if that works on these oh. guys. My guess is yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I can actually use my dragon grease right now. I can't. Oh, cuz I buffed my weapon. Oops. When you attack, you get to see your character do damage. Yeah. It's a dot, though. So. Just the absurdity of, of them being this tanky and still seeing you do like a big yellow chunk of health. You're like, what? <laughs> that color doesn't even render when I attack. <laughs> it's one Oops. of the funniest things about small amounts of damage is that they literally just don't render the yellow. Oh, fuck. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any FP. He's, Oops. He's oh, he's falling down. Nice. Cool. How about his pig butt hole? Take what? Yeah. That's oh why it's God. called Dark Souls. They also are missing their stomachs, which is odd. Just like a weird character design thing in these games is that like giant creatures usually have their stomachs 
carved out. And we yeah, know the that the... are gone, but they're still just kind of crawling Probably along. hard to find food. Well, the actual giants have their... That's not what's happening. The actual giants have their stomachs carved out because the face of the fell god is on them, but here, I don't know why the dragon can have them cut out. So it says, Halberd shaped like a dragon in wreaths with both ice and lightning. Ice and lightning is a really hard combo to make work in this game, by the way. That's like a weird, interesting weapon that kind of makes this unviable. Alas, the dragonkin soldiers never attained immortality and perished as decrepit pale imitations of their skyborn kin. And we got Merica's Scar Seal. This is a really interesting item in the context of the DLC. It's an eye with Merica's rune on it. It says these seals represent the lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods. Yeah, that thing's actually really good. All right. Uh, we need to go and talk to Celevis. So... Let's really quickly teleport back to Ronnie's Rise and talk to Celevis. And he'll send us on a wild goose chase.